Hey guys, how's it going? Malkins here. Thank you for joining. This is going to be the second one of the series. It's going to be the Inquisitor. And this time, I'll, unlike the Arcanist, I'll actually mention only one spell. Um, this is considerably... Quite a lot of people are thinking about it this way on my streams. I, I, I've, I've come to um, kind of like mention this quite a lot and we had like a lot of discussions. A lot of people thinking that this is arguably one of the most broken spells in, 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 in Grim Dawn, at this point at least. And um, if you're not familiar with the spell, as an Inquisitor player especially, you should get familiar with it, because it's amazing, amazing. And I'll try to like explain why, and I'll always like break down the spell as well. Now, in my opinion, obviously, again, um, the best spell and the most valuable spell, if you would like to call it that way too, which would make a little bit more sense, uh, Inquisitor Seal, definitely. Inquisitor Seal is just beautiful. It fits as on the Arcanist. If you pay the attention, we have selected three different abilities. Um, but all of those abilities were capable of like going with everything. This is what I really like about Grimdawn. You know, when you're making a character, uh, a little bit off topic here, I know, but I really like talking about this. Um, when you're making a character, you could go like offense with like fire or something, let's say, and you will have one ability, two ability, and then you will, you know, com you will combine two masteries, X and Y masteries, it doesn't matter. And then those X and Y masteries always have those key stuff that you will be taking, and it would have been okay uh, to take, even if you're Aether, even if you're fire, even if you're chaos, because they are really good and they are able to like, you know, um, just blend into every single spec. I really enjoy that. Same as the Arcanist, this one definitely capable of doing that with everything. Melee, range, um, rifles, pistols, or, you know, just a caster, it doesn't matter. Whatever you're playing, this is ridiculously valuable, and it will carry you, it will make you tankier than you can imagine. Now, just to break this down, uh, one of the better parts about this that is not being talked about is the fact that this thing is actually an offensive spell. So even though you cast something on the ground, it's like a circular thingy that you need to stand inside to like start absorbing damage. Um, it is actually dealing damage around it too. So if there's any sort of monster that is close to it, which let's get real here, that will be. Uh, it is actually dealing constant fire damage to them. It's also increasing the damage that you deal to ethereals, chthonics, and what's what that's. But the point is, thanks to this being, a, being an offensive spell, you could actually link... Um, any type of like offensive, active devotion to it. And that is really, really big. Respect like mine, for instance. Look at this tactician. This is my tactician right now. I have 21 points into this, which is massive and it's amazing. And I have, if I'm not mistaken, I have my, uh... yeah, if you scroll down over here, I have my celestial power elemental storm in it, as you can see. It is really good. If if this was not necessarily capable of like linking, for instance, Ar Arcane Storm form or Elemental Storm, excuse me, I would have to say something like, I don't know, Bucks, which wouldn't be so bad, actually. You just need to like put one point and then I'll be able to like, you know, utilize this to like cast Arcane Storm to everything, but I am already using this and it's able to like use the other one as well. It is amazing, definitely. It's uh, one of the better parts about it, the fact that like you can um, use this as an active. From the devotions now on top of that while you're standing inside you know you're standing for defensive reasons but it's also like giving you crit damage it's giving you all damage it's the early game the old damage is all right later on i don't think like this much old damage that doesn't necessarily make that much difference because you will get to about like 2000 ish multipliers in my opinion and this character is definitely not the highest multipliers but yeah as you can see like cold 2k fire almost 2k and lightning 1.7k so it's an elemental character um you can definitely get about like 2.4k and if you if you just focus one and go as offensive as possible now let's try to focus on the absorption part and try to like break down why it is actually as overpowered as i am putting it to be um so how this works is that basically you know you have your defenses. Let's say you have 80% fire resistance or aether resistance, doesn't matter. And then you end up taking 1000 aether damage. But thanks to the 80% aether resistance, you will have only 200 damage in your hands. And thanks to 12 points into the seal, 200, per 200 damage will be absorbed. Now, this is not necessarily from direct hits. This is from damage over times. This is from every single instance spell. There's no cooldown on it. 
So even if you take 10 hits of 500, you would have definitely died. But no, this time it is 10 hits of 300. But wait a second. A really good character ends up having 22 points into this. It's not that hard. Um, and when you have 22 points, it's actually absorbing 445 damage. And after the mitigation, that is the another like another important part. If you're bleeding, and if you're bleeding for like 600 damage, after the resistances, you know, that is quite a bit. And then it's 600, it becomes 155 all of a sudden, because this thing is capable of absorbing 445. Next tick, it will absorb, absorb again. <laughs> it is ridiculous. It is insane. And there's a lot of mechanics in this game. I don't know if you're familiar. But they are called shotguns. Um, you can expect that some damage is like lots of pellets. You're supposed to be avoiding at least half of it, if not all of it. And if you fail at all of it, you'll definitely die. For instance, like Logarian, the last boss of Vanilla, has some sort of like a puke ability in the melee range. It will definitely shotgun you. If you put this on the floor, you'll be able to stand on it. Because this thing is capable of making you absorb from every single instance so there's no more shotgun anymore you're literally ignoring the content and its mechanics this is insane let me know what you think about this spell let me know if you have used this spell before and also if you have any other candidates in inquisitor that you think that they're incredibly valuable or you would have maybe even mentioned before inquisitor seal thanks for watching this i really hope you enjoyed it